All right, guys, really quick video just to go over the updates to the UAC rig for version 2.4. There's four main things I want to go over. The first one was a bug fix. As you know, the steering attribute would also affect the steering wheel, and this would work in reverse. But when driving your car on the path, the auto steer function was not updating the steering wheel. This is now fixed. The second thing, when using multiple cars in your scene, previously you would need to select the root control of your car that you wanted to set active, and then hit this top long button here. Now you can also do the same thing by just selecting the top node. I added this because I was recently working on a scene with lots and lots of cars and it was very tedious to keep sifting through to find the root control. Just made a lot of sense to be able to select the top node when you want to add your paths much quicker. The third change, full version users now have the CH button and this option on the UI will load the rig with or without the chassis. It's on by default, but if you turn it off, the chassis model and all non-essential joints, such as boots, springs, and sway bar, will not be included in the rig that you load. This can be combined with the LT button here as well. This is a great request, and it allows efficient joint use in a gaming situation, or if you want to make those background cars even lighter weight for your render scene. And you can check out the updated documentation for more information on that. The fourth thing really isn't anything new, but I had quite a few people asking me the same question, so I wanted to answer that here. And the question was, can you rig a vehicle with different size front and rear wheels? And the answer is yes, definitely. So I have a tractor model here that I'll quickly rig and show you. Let's snap the front control to the front wheel center point. Let's snap the rear control to the rear wheel center point. And you can see here that the display ring still conforms to it nicely, even though it's much larger than the front wheel. The next thing we would do is set the width of these two wheels, but seeing as they're so different, we would do them separately. We would make sure the control and the width attribute set these display rings just outside the tire. And also the tire walls will most likely be different, so let's do those separately as well. The ring needs to be just outside the wheel rims. and now everything is positioned and where it needs to be and we can go ahead and connect these. So let's select the wheels and hit the wheel button. Tires, tire button and grab all these body bits and hit the body button. And now our tractor drives, it steers, and the tire pressure even works quite nicely on these large wheels as well. That's version 2.4 which is now live. Thank you for all the amazing feedback and thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.